Hello, I'm Dr. Alice DC. I'm one of the GPs at Patriot Medical Centre. I'm just going to show you how to do um, the self uh, test kit for um, coronavirus. So this is if you think you've got symptoms of coronavirus, so either a fever, a cough, a continuous cough, a new continuous cough, um, or a loss of your sense of taste or smell. And if you've got any of those symptoms, you need to be going on the government website um, or ringing 119 to get a swab test kit so that you can um, swab yourself to test for coronavirus. So what we're gonna do, when you get your kit through the post, it comes in a bag and there's lots of things inside it. Um, and as part of it comes an instruction booklet. It's pretty thick, but it's quite self-explanatory and you can follow the pictures and the instructions to see what to do. Okay, so the very first thing you need to do in order to take your swab is you have to register your swab online so they know who you are when they receive it and they know how to contact you if it's positive. And it gives you the website and the website looks a little bit like that and there's some questions to answer. And once you've done that, you can then do your swab. Okay. So the next thing you have to do is wash your hands really carefully. Okay, 20 seconds, soap and water. Okay, then put all of the things from the test kit on a surface and suggest you somewhere where you've got a good mirror because that's going to be quite helpful. Okay, the next thing you need to do is to work out what you're going to swab. So this swab is, is the one swab, but you put it in two places. You put it in your mouth, around your tonsil area, and you put it in your nose. So it's a throat and nasal swab. And what it tells you to do is open your mouth really wide, have a look in a mirror and identify where your tonsils are. And the tonsils are the bit at the back of your throat on either side, okay? Once you've done that, it asks you to blow your nose, making sure you put the tissue in the bin, okay? And then you need to take your swab package, which is this one here, and very carefully open it up Okay, putting that one there, and this is the swab. Make sure you don't touch the other end of the swab, okay? And then you're gonna swab your throat for 10 seconds, okay? And that's rubbing the swab over both tonsils for 10 seconds, and then you're gonna use the same, ton um, same swab and put it up into your nose, okay? About one inch, which is about that much, for 10 to 15 seconds. Okay, so I'm gonna do that now. It's a slightly funny feeling, it does make you gag a bit and it can make you sneeze, it's a bit uncomfortable, but it shouldn't be painful, okay. Okay, and then I'm gonna put it inside my nose. Okay, and I'm gonna pop it into here and then I'm going to snap off the top, okay? When I can. There we go, it's snapped off. And then I'm going to put the lid on, okay? Now, the next thing to do is to stick the barcodes, which are in, included in your pack, and you need to stick one barcode onto the vial, and you need to stick one barcode onto the uh, plastic that this plastic bag and I'll show you how to do that. So when you stick the barcode on you put it vertically down at the bottle okay like that. So the next thing we're going to do is we're going to put this inside the first sealed bag that they've given us okay and then we're going to add to that the um, absorbent kind of uh, foam that they give you in the bag as well. Okay. Once you've done that you seal the bag and then you put the bag inside this um, biohazard bag is what they call it. And then you're going to use the silver seal to seal that bag. Okay, The silver seal is here. You peel off the silver seal and then you stick it together. Okay. Okay. And then the next thing you do is you stick a barcode again on the outside of this bag. Okay. And once you've done that, the next thing you do is to build your box.
after you've built your box you want to put this bag seal bag inside the box on the box. And there's a security seal that you have to put on the box which is how they know that nobody's tampered or touched what's inside it and you stick that here. Okay. And when you've done that the last thing you do is stick your Royal Mail sticker onto the box. Okay. If you're having a couriered service, I'm not quite sure what it looks like. It might be a bit different, but the instructions will be in the pack. You just need to make sure you don't cover, don't cover this box here. Okay. And that then is ready to go in the post box. Now, the important thing is that you find a priority post box. It can't go in any post box. You have to go online and go onto the Royal Mail website. I think it's royalmail.com slash services near you and you have to look for a priority post box to put it into okay um, you will then get your uh, test results by text message and email depending on what information you've given them and the test results take two to three days to come in